Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will use the Active Directory Administrative Center on a newly configured Windows Server 2022 domain controller to manage user accounts. Let's press Ctrl Alt Delete key combination to sign into Windows Server 2022. Type the administrator account password and press Enter key. The system logs on with the administrator user account and the server manager console appears. On server manager console, click on tools and from menu select active directory administrative center. On left hand side you will find your domain name which is must be noob in my case. And under must be noob you can see I have created one OU name marketing in the last lab guide. Let's double click over there. In the last lab guide, we have also created one security group named Marketing and as well as I have created one user named Azaz Patel. Now first we will discuss about disabling an Active Directory domain user account. Disabling an domain user account is normally done when the user is on long leave. And if you want to make the Active Directory domain user account active again, you must enable it. So let's see how we can do that. Now we have created one user account named Azaz Patil. We will disable this user account and after disabling that user account, we will try to log in with that user's user credential. So right now Azaz Patil is active. Uh, to disable it, you can simply right click on that username and that will be option for disable it. Or you can click on that user account and on the right hand side you will find the options like disable or other options here. So to disable it, I'm going to click on disable. Okay, let's uh, refresh here. And we can see some other type of icon is there. That means this user account is currently disabled. But you can also confirm from here as well, because right now you are not able to see disable option here. That means that user account is disabled. Let's double click on that user account and let's check out the user's UPN name. Okay, this is azaz.patel. Okay, let's try to use this user's logon detail to log on to a Windows 11 computer, which is part of the Active Directory domain must be noob.lab. Okay, I'm going to sign out from here. Let's uh, sign out from Windows 11 computer. Uh, already I have logged in using the credential of domain admin. Okay. Now we are going to use the credential of our user as us dot patil. Let's enter the password and hit enter key. And you can see we are getting the message that your account has been disabled. Please see your system administrator. So even if user tried to log in after disabling that user account, user is not able to log in to any client computer, which is part of our active directory domain. Now let's see how we can enable it. So let's go back to our domain controller and similarly, just like we have disabled that user account, we can enable it. So select the user account which you want to enable and click on enable. Okay, now this time you can see that icon in front of that user account is removed. That means right now this user account is enabled. Let's again uh, try to log in on this Windows 11 computer with the user's password. Perfect. And uh, since we have selected that option, that user must change password at first logon, uh, the system is asking us to change the password. Click OK, enter a new password, and hit enter. OK, your password has been changed successfully. And after verification, user can log in to that Windows 11 client computer. Since this user is also first time logged into this Windows 11 computer, the user's profile is being created. So SS Patel has been successfully logged in to that Windows 11 computer. I'm going to sign out from this Windows 11 computer. Okay, let's move to our Windows domain controller again. It is common that the users sometimes forget the password and request that you change it for them. If a user's password is compromised, you may need to reset it. So let's see how we can reset user account password in Active Directory. For that, 
you simply need to right click on that user account and here you have an option name a reset password and similarly you will find reset password option on a right hand side after selecting that user account suppose if you select group then there will be a no such option available to you so select the user account uh, for which you want to reset the password and click on reset password and the password which you want to set up for that a user account confirm the password as well and then you have an option name user must change password at next logon and we need to select this checkbox and this is the best practice because you are assigning a common password to that user account you will inform to that user that this is your password which you can use only for one time and using this password you can sign in to your client computer and first time when user use that password to sign in to the client computer the system will ask user to change the password okay so that's why this box is very important so if your administrator is setting up the password still the user can set up his or her own password at the first sign in i'm going to click on okay let's again go back to the windows 11 computer and let's again try to log in using the credential of our active directory domain user account as as patel and we can see the message that user's password must be changed before sign in since we have selected that checkbox system is forcing user to change his password at a first logon let's enter a new password for this user account hit enter key we can see the message your password has been changed successfully hit enter again and using this new password now user can log in to that windows 11 client computer okay uh, i'm going to create one folder on uh, desktop so let's create one folder okay let's uh, create one uh, text file and let me close it okay next we are going to discuss the steps on how to rename a user account in active directory so as you can see here i have created one folder on the desktop with the name azaz data and one text file name and list right now we have used the credential of our user account azaz patel to log in to this windows 11 computer now i'm going to sign out from this windows 11 computer Okay, let's go back to the our domain controller. Why we need to rename an a user account? Renaming a user account is convenient when an employee is replaced by another employee. A user account is not simply a name and password; it is also a set of permissions and group memberships. And therefore, when you rename a user account, verify all the user objects attributes. Now, for example, let's say. that as as patel was earlier working with this company in marketing department but now he left the company and in place of as as patel a uh, company has had someone else so you don't want to use that uh, as as patel name anymore so instead of you can create a new user account but suppose if you create new user account that group membership and other stuff will be changed and that we don't want and that's why it is important to rename that a user account So right now this user as as Patel is uh, also member of our marketing team group uh, you can confirm that so after renaming this uh, user account we'll also confirm that as well okay so let's try to rename this user account name as as Patel so let's double click on that user account name as as Patel okay uh, the user who is replacing this as as Patel is Rachin and his name is rapindra okay the user's name is going to be rachin ravi the same name we want to use as a same account name okay that's going to okay and you can see that user as as patel is successfully renamed to rachin ravindra and let's see the user logon name as well this is the user's logon name which is rachin ravi okay we are going to use that username okay i think it is 
let's change it it is going to be rachin okay perfect now we will use the credential of this user account and since we have renamed this user account we also want to reset the password as well and this time i am not going to select this checkbox already we have seen that why it is unnecessary okay so i am simply going to click on okay button let's uh, try to use the credential of this user account to sign into our windows 11 client computer uh, this time we need to click on other user and the username is rachin.ravi let's enter the password and press enter key still you can see the name is there as as patel because uh, that is the display name of that user that information is still available on client computer okay uh, we have login using the credential of our user uh, rachin ravindra uh, let's confirm that you can see user display name is rachin ravindra we can get the same data which was earlier on uh, the user's profile that earlier user was Azaz profile, we can see that. And those folders and files are still available on user's desktop. So we have successfully logged in to that Windows 11 client computer using the credential of Rashin Ravindra, which we have just renamed from Azaz Patel. Let's go back to the, our domain controller and let's double click on marketing team. And here we can see that our user Rashin Ravindra is also a member of that marketing team. So actually we haven't done anything. We just renamed that user from Azaz Patel to Rachin Ravindra. So that's the end of this lab guide on how to manage user accounts in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. See you all in the next lab guide. Stay tuned for more videos like this.